Hey guys, welcome to another video. Well, today we're going to review something uh, very interesting, I would say. A backup camera for your car, which is wireless. It's made by a company called Nanda, N-O-N-D-A. And the camera itself is called Zeus Wireless Backup Camera. Well, it works okay, I would say. Uh, it connects via an app that I'll show you here in a second. You, When you first get it, hold this button, click, and then you'll see this uh, light here. Pulsate three times. I have already did that. They have the USB charger uh, right here. It's a micro USB that you can charge it, I think, once in three, four months. I had this one in my car for uh, the last four months, and I didn't really need to charge it until uh, probably yesterday that I noticed it wasn't connecting anymore. And not that I used it that much, I'm not going to lie, but hey, that's how it works. It comes with this plate. It's dirty right now because I already had it. And, you know, elements do their job. You put it on your car. You know, the car tag comes on top here. You put the two screws to put it on top of the tag. And then the screws for the camera, you put it uh, facing down right here it has like a guide pin in here that doesn't let you put it upside down if you want it to you put it in and there's two more screws that go in both sides what i like about the screws is that they're uh, tamper proof screws that is the only thing that i would appreciate here this uh camera i wouldn't say is the worst i ever seen when it comes to backup cameras but practically is not as easy or intuitive. Um, what I mean by that, let me go to my phone. I already downloaded the app. The app is called, when you go to the App Store, you search for Zeus app, and it's this very first app here. It has like a Q letter as a logo on it, as you see it. So I downloaded this app already. I click open. And uh, before you go ahead and do all that, you have to create an account in this app. After you create the account, you have to slide down all your notification drawer, whatever you call that. And you have to open Bluetooth, location, and Wi-Fi. Uh, in my opinion, that's a little bit too much. To have Bluetooth, location, and Wi-Fi open at all times just... So you need to back up the car. It's a little bit too far. And for the app itself, when you go to open it, it's not that instant. Right now, this camera is active. It's on. So let me put it here on the side so you just see the phone. So I'm not going to bore you with it. Let's open the app right here. And when you open, of course, there's more permissions that will uh, ask you to do. Uh, in order to determine your movement while in a vehicle more accurately, please allow Zeus app to use your activity data at all times. I'm going to click allow because I'm intended to uh, uninstall it later anyway, so I will not keep using this one. But to me, that's quite too far, quite too far when you get in the app and you turn the camera on already you go here to the uh dashboard and uh, one of these will turn on as you see here indicating the backup camera and uh, when you open the camera itself you click on the, even here from timeline or dashboard i go from the dashboard you click tap to open camera and it takes its sweet little time if it even connects. Now it's cannot detect device and it's asking me to connect to its wireless name. It has it actually creates a Wi-Fi that broadcasts uh, the entire time, which is another problem I have with it. Uh, let's click it and uh, wait for it to connect. Right now, as you see, it's connected. Let me show it closer to you. It gives those two lines right there. Right now, those two lines looks like they're 
you know, on the proper position, like they would be on the asphalt while you're backing up or driving or whatever. But the reality is that this camera in the car, especially if you have an SUV, those lines will look like they're sticking up instead of being in the asphalt. Unless you kind of twist your plate or do some modification, it will not be good. And uh, I will show you in a minute how the footage from this camera came out. I'm going to put it in the end of this video. But what happens here is that I wish it had an option. It has only option, supposedly for night vision, which is not exactly that good. And it doesn't have an option to record. What if I am driving and I want to record the back of the vehicle, you know, just for fun? Well, you can't with this camera. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to play the video that I recorded or a few seconds of how the quality of this camera is, which is not that great. It's not bad, I guess, either. But in my opinion, I would not spend the money to buy it. It's really counterintuitive and counterproductive is when you're backing up, you need that camera instantly. You don't have time to put it in reverse, then open your phone and give it access to activity, give it access to Wi-Fi, give it access to GPS, give it app, uh, access to Bluetooth, and then connect to the Wi-Fi that it provides and wait for it to connect. And when it connects, you can't record it. And if it's nighttime, you're kind of screwed. In my opinion, it, it is, it's not really worth it. That's all I had to say for today. And uh, enjoy the video that I recorded with this camera. And with that said, see you next time. Bye.